Hello and welcome to Blocks Master. It's Elder, and today I'm going to share with you the new template I have built for Blocks templates. And well, it's called September. I have been working on it. I have started to work on this in September, so that's the name. And yeah, I'm running out of cool names for my templates. As you can see, I have a bunch of them here. So this is the September. It is for graphic design or like web design agencies and it comes in two variations as always dark and light not as always but most of the time my templates come at least at two variants and this is the dark version you can see that it is mostly black and white but if we go to a portfolio page you see there are some colorful colorful like backgrounds under each of the websites I have built or the owner of this September agency have built and it's about six pages I think and in this video I will qu quickly show you how to edit it and maybe do some uh, some styling or something I uh, some of my blogs templates members have actually asked me to do something like that for new templates I built so it's easier for them for you to edit and manage the templates i have tried to build this template as easy and as simple to manage as possible because i do have quite complex templates on blocks templates website but uh, not all of them are very easy to manage and this one is actually very easy to manage not very much going on here but this is actually the design i prefer on my own website is quite similar to this well if you if you haven't already go to check out go check it out on eldergizal.com obviously the link will be in the description and yeah this one is the light version as you can see all the same design just white color and black text mostly you can see some cool pictures and fully customized contact form go to this one it's interesting I will need to test this I will need to check this I think I have left this white shadow on white version of this template anyway yeah this is how it looks and let me quickly show you how to maybe make some changes so, so let's go to the page here and obviously this template is all of my templates comes this all of the BEX files for each page. These are actually for the dark version but you can easily export for white version if you want. But I think the dark version looks quite cool and I, well, I will be showing how to edit the dark version in this video. There, these are the two template files obviously so let's open the dark version in blocks and this is what we have so uh, the first thing to do here for example let's try and go to contact page it's quite simple in blocks to edit and set up the contact forms but I actually get lots of questions on how to configure the contact form and to do that you can just select the form not the field inside the form but the whole form like that and uh, yeah when you do that you can also do that in the sidebar here all you need to do is just set your put your email into send to and from when you do that it will work and all of the emails you will receive will go to the will go to the email address you have put here and obviously can change all of the subject like greeting message and the success messages which will be shown to the visitor of your website and well this is how you use contact forms and blogs uh, let's take a look at other pages here this one is for portfolio item so this is basically the one you need to use for your website the website agency 
well, well this is the portfolio item but you can rename it to anything you want obviously and at the moment like it has the like description the name of the website a huge screenshot and underneath here it has the link to the website some categories here and the important thing here i have the previous and next project these are the links and when you have more than one website built obviously in portfolio you will have to link this to the other pages because right now in this template i only have one portfolio item page and both of these links are linked to portfolio item page but if you create more you can just select this link and select the page you want to go next to and actually instead of next project you can actually put the name of the project here let's say some like cool new website if if this if this is the name of your other other project you can put it here obviously right now you can see that it's just one project so i can't do that yeah but that's uh, how you use this portfolio item so when you have new portfolio website you can just go to the page manager here and you click plus there is your new website new website and you don't want to use it in primary menu and you need to duplicate the page you will just select the portfolio item create and this will be the new page you have just created change the name change the screenshot change the description and everything and then you can you can see in the drop down menu you can change the link to new website so that's for the portfolio item page another question i get sometimes is for the navigation because right now as you can see we have four pages and i have set this list to uh, be manually ed edited basically the source for this menu is set to none and if you know if you've watched any of my blocks master tutorials you know that i prefer to do that it gives us full freedom to edit our menu as we want but what if i want to add another page and i want it to have in my menu so basically let's add the new product page products or something like that products and i wanted to do i want to have this in primary menu so in the menu up top but uh, yeah i want let's say i want to duplicate my portfolio page i will base my product page on this one so let's create one i will quickly change the name so it's a bit different page so it's, you can see this products page and when you create new page of course you need to go to page settings for each of your pages actually and change the seo title and seo description which are very important which will appear of, of course on google in google search results so you change all of that and now you can see we don't have it in the menu even though i have selected the include use in primary menu and the reason why like like i said it's because i have disabled the I have disabled this source i set it to none from primary menu so now i need to manually add the link to this menu and i can do that by quickly like selecting the any of the links and duplicating them so let's say that i want to have products page after services before about so i will just select services i can, I can do that also in the sidebar and i will press command d to duplicate it then I will need just to rename it products and change the page to products page. So now I will have products page in my navigation. You can see it works fine. And the active menu class is also kicking in here. You can see it works as it should. But you should make sure that when you add new pages to the menu it looks great on all brick points because you can see that i have spaced them beautifully for all brick points but right now you can see that on medium brick point we have five links and they are these are okay at the moment but what if i have let's say seven links 
So they look still fine. They still they still look fine on desktop, but when we go to medium breakpoint, you can see that it's not very beautiful. Two line menu, it's not a very good look. And obviously we can go here to September navigation class I have created and try to change the margin. You can see I have added some margin between the links, but even when we do that, it's not very pretty. So let's say that we will try to change the margin, then we will try to make the text smaller. This way we can fit the menu in one line, but what I recommend to do instead, just select the toggle, this nav toggle we have in the layer tree. You can also see it when you go to the smaller breakpoints, just select it and change the toggle from this uh, SM breakpoint to medium breakpoint. What it will do, it will just replace the this two line menu, this one icon, which will be obviously a better design for this page. At the moment, you can see that it has the active class visible on uh, this brick point. If you go to others, you can see that we don't have it here. But well, if you want, you can go to class manager and we have this active class here. You can change it to do not include the this uh, white border under the text on this MD breakpoint. As you can see right now, it is visible here on large breakpoint, on medium breakpoint, but if you go to SM breakpoint, you can see that we don't have it here. So this is one of the things you should also remember. And another one we have obviously the the second navigation, the footer navigation here in the footer. And if you want to add links here, once again, just select any of the links, duplicate it using command D, rename it to what you want and link it to the new page, which is products at this point, at this case. So uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. It's not very difficult template to, to use. So I don't think there will be any more questions. If there are any questions, you can always leave them in the comments below or just send me an email and I will do my best to answer as soon as I can. So yeah, I think that this is it for this template. As always, you can get it on Blocks Templates website. And if you are a member for Blocks 3 templates, obviously you can get this for free. If you have my iCloud shared folder installed on your computer, this template is already on your computer and yeah, otherwise go to your dashboard and download this template. So thanks for watching this video and I will talk to you in the next one.